Online Licensing Activate license using online workflow. In this version, we offer you a new possibility to activate licenses online, which we call online licensing. Online licensing is based on token technology, which allows the flow of licenses between products. The license management system LMS checks periodically the validity of the token on the client and ensures that the specific license is used only on one system at the time. Please be aware that partial activation for online licensing is not supported and online licensing is not suitable for dark site offline systems. What are the prerequisites? What is the benefit using online licenses and what are the differences to online licensing in the trusted store? The prerequisites for online licensing are The LMU is installed in a trusted environment. An internet connection is required and the connectivity to the back office license server is tested. An email of the license ordering is present at the customer site or for Siemens employees. The information is also available via LMS cockpit. The benefits using online licenses are the license is not bound to hardware components of the machine, how it is with trusted store online licensing. It means it is not influenced when a physical machine will be replaced. It is not influenced when replacement of hardware components will take place on a computer. It is not influenced when a virtual machine in a trusted virtual environment will also be replaced or copied. It is not influenced when major Windows updates are planned or a major Windows version upgrade is imminent. The repair of the license is obsolete. We are now performing the activation with the entitlement ID. In the tool, the page, activatable items, and the node entitlement ID in online licensing is selected. Of course, the tool also offers the possibility to license with activation IDs as we have shown in the tutorial part of version 2.6. We will paste the entitlement ID copied from the license ordering here and click on the button Retrieve Entitlement. The Entitlement ID Operation pane shows the default selection of the radio button active license using online workflow. In our case, we select all products and press the activated button Activate License. After activation, we find the licenses on the page Licensed Products pane. First of all, we would like to draw your attention to a small new addition. The subscription expiration date has been added with the product family in brackets. In our case, the GMS product family. By opening the tree in the navigation pane, all installed products are visible. We do the same in the view pane in the Licensed Products page. The single products are indicated with the O symbol, which means that this is an online license. The dongle ID column shows the online status, and the trust flag column shows the valid status in green when activating the license for the first time, because when the license is first activated, the LMU implicitly invokes the check method to obtain mastership for this license. The LMS server marks this client as the master for this license with a valid token with green background. The client calls new periodically the check on LMS server to ensure that the license remains valid. In some cases, the valid flag can show a yellow background. This can have various reasons. For example, if the same license is over requested in the system, this can happen if the license is suddenly requested by two systems at the same time, for example, when changing the virtual machine. In this case, the token can be requested on the desired machine simply by the appropriate feature in the operation pane. The trust flag status then changes back to green background and on the other machine, the same license is considered invalid with red background. With this explanation, we immediately got to know the next status namely invalid with red background. The red invalid status appears when the token has expired, either because the refresh failed, for instance there is no internet connection, or the LMS server returned a deny on the check. For more details about the license online check, 
See the LMS page in the Siemens Wiki by searching for LMS Client Online License Check. The link to the Wiki page can be found in the FAQ session in the learning. In the next session we will learn about the request and return function.